morning, folks. It is December 19th. I think we're a day past maple sugar day, but we're taking it to the next step because we're going to make some maple sugar candy. And uh, we're fortunate we do have a mold that we can use to mold our candy. Uh, and we also have some very good quality syrup that we're going to use to make our candy. And I need to show you a couple things before we get started. First of all, this I would highly recommend looking for if you're going to try making maple syrup or candy, the Maple Sugar Book. It was written back in around 1950 uh, by the Nearings, who uh, did a very thorough and researched job on how to do everything related to maple syrup. Can't recommend it more. And this book tells us that uh, to make the kind of candy I'm going to try to shoot for today, we're going to have to boil our maple syrup 25 degrees to maybe 27 degrees above the boiling point of water. So you're going to need a candy thermometer. And the first thing I always do is I stick my candy thermometer into a pot of rapidly boiling water and I look and I see what the temperature reads on the thermometer because I've bought many candy thermometers over the years and they're often off by a degree or two. Uh, now, the one other thing I'll mention to you just to make it more complicated, uh, the boiling point of water varies by your elevation. So for every 500 feet of elevation, you're going to lose one degree. At sea level, water boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, here at Pennypack Environmental Center, we're about 500 feet above sea level, so that's one degree, so water will boil at 211. So I'm going to boil 25 degrees above that to make my candy. So we'll get started here, and I'm going to turn this on to high. You might as well cook it as hot as you can. I have my syrup, and you can see this is a very light syrup. This is called grade A, it's all grade A these days. Golden, delicate taste. And let's see how light it is. I don't know if you'll be able to see from there, but I'm just going to pour. Oh, yeah, look at that. Can you see that color? Look at that. And you need to put enough into your pot to just barely cover the bulb. And I'm just going to put all of this in here because that's what we have left. The last time we opened this syrup was Feb I'm sorry, March 13th, which was a Friday, of course, which was our last day of doing maple sugaring with the kids. So maybe this will uh, be a good omen move on with the world. Well, there's our syrup. We'll put that over there. It's going to take a while. Uh, and, and it does. It's going to take quite a while. Usually, I think about 20 minutes from syrup to ready to mold it into candy, sometimes a little longer. Uh, the, the only problem you might have is when it starts to boil, maple syrup can start foaming in the pan, and that foam can just rise right out of the pan and could overflow. So to, to stop that, uh, you need just to have a little tiny bit of butter, like that much, ready to go in case you need to knock down the foaming. This little bit of butter will knock down the foams and let you continue to boil to get to the temperature you want. Um, I try not to put this in, but I, I will if I need to. So we'll put that there. That's ready to go. I have a spoon and then I have a paddle. Uh, this was I was using just to do something else. We won't get into that. Anyway, now one last thing I'm going to do is run some cold water in my sink. So what I'm going to do here, as I told you, 25 degrees above it was really 211, so we're talking 236 degrees on my candy thermometer, maybe 237. Once I get it to that point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out of the off the stove and I'm going to go and sit it in the cold water in the sink. I'm not going to stir it. I'm just going to leave it there and I'm going to watch the temperature drop. It should drop from 237 and I usually go until it hits just a little bit under 200 degrees and then we'll go to the next step. So that's it for now. We're going to take a little break and we'll come back when things are a little more exciting by the fire. I'll have to take this off. Okay, go ahead. Well, we're up to the temperature. We're really up at 238. 
And I'm going to take this off the stove. And Stephanie uh, Robinson, who's filming this for us, reminded me I never told you who I am. Um, I will in a minute. Oh. I'm going to put this down in the cold water and just let it sit there. So my name is Pete, Pete Kurtz, uh, here at Penny Pack Environmental Center. And I've been making maple syrup and maple sugar for 40 years now. So this is, uh, hopefully we'll make some more this year when the weather is right. So now it's just a matter of waiting for this to drop. And it usually is going to take maybe five or ten minutes. It's hard to say how long it's going to take for that to drop. And I'm not going to stir it. I'm just going to leave it there. I can turn off the stove and get ready to mold the candy. So when it gets to the right temperature, down around 200, a little bit more, then I'm going to bring that pot out and, and I'm going to just start stirring the hot syrup. Um, if I had cooked it even further, I could have cooked that much higher temperature and, and then I could have made it into dry sugar. And to do that, I would take a big bowl like, like this bowl up here, if you can see that. Can you see that bowl? Okay. And pour that very hot syrup into that bowl and take a wooden spoon and beat it. And if I cooked it to the high enough temperature, it would just be liquid, but then all of a sudden it would just start boiling and erupting. And if you keep beating it with a spoon, it becomes granulated sugar. Very nice stuff to use. Very expensive to buy, too. So I'm just going to check to see here. We're still over, well over 200. What else can I tell you about making maple syrup and sugar? We have our supply from last year from here. Store it away, but here's, here's some of our syrup from, uh, oh, this is from 2019. And once you bottle it properly, and you bottle it in sterilized jars, uh, make sure the syrup being poured in is very hot, and then the jar will seal. This will keep in the cupboard for years, although once you open it, then you should put it in the fridge. And even if you if you make a mistake and you open it and you don't put it in the fridge and you come back a few weeks later and there's green mold floating on top, you can just lift that mold off, bring it back up to a boil, pour it back in your jar and it's fine. It won't hurt you at all. I'll show you what happens sometimes. So when you're making syrup, so water boils at 212. When you're making maple syrup, you want it to boil to 219 degrees. If you go even a degree too much, this is what might happen. You might get sugar crystals in the bottom of your jar, which the thing I think is neat, even though the syrup is very dark, the crystals are white. And if I was to take them out of there and grind them up, I would have white looking sugar, but it would actually be maple sugar. Of course, I'd probably have to break the jar to get that stuff out. Ugh. So, where are we over this thing? So at this point, I'm just going to take this thermometer out. And you can see, look at how thick and hardening up. So I'm just going to put that right here. I'm just going to do this to take some of the moisture off the bottom of the pot. Take my paddle. And we're going to see if we can mold some sugar. So, the first thing is I'm just going to take this paddle and drag it around the bottom of the pan because that's where it was touching the cold water. And I want to get that off first. And as this cools, since I boiled it to a high enough temperature, this 
the liquid should start to crystallize as it cools down and the trick is to know when to move it into the mold. If I poured it off right now, uh, it probably wouldn't mold up into sugar. It, it might, there might be some sugar crystals and then some liquid. But what I'm gonna do is just keep an eye on this. And really what you have to do is just look at this liquid. And when you see it just starting to change a little bit, and if I pull it up, you can see, you can almost see through it. And, and I probably could pour it off at this point, but if I stir it longer, it's going to set up quicker. Of course, if I stir it too much, it might all of a sudden start turning into sugar in the pot. So I can still see through it. What I'm looking for is just the sugar's crystal starting to form. And I cook this to a temperature that I'm hoping the candy will come out as a, as a solid candy, but when you bite into it, it will just melt because the sugar crystals are nice and small. But it's still, I can still see through it. And I can see it's starting to change. Not yet. It's not quite time to move it over. I'm going to move it back. You've seen enough of that. I'm going to get ready to, to move it out of the pot. So the lower the temperature, the softer the candy's going to be, and a degree or two makes a difference. Now I can see it's starting to cloud up. So I'm going to move it from the pot to the mold, and you just start by pouring it off. You want to try to get everything out of the pot first, because if I leave this for another even a minute, uh, it'll get so hard that I won't be able to get it out very easily. And I can tell it's already, it's already starting to set up a little bit. So this is amazing because this stuff started out simply as the sap of a maple tree. There is nothing added to this except for, well, a pea-sized piece of butter that I put in to uh, keep it from boiling over in the pot. Hmm. And you can see it's, it's dipping up pretty quick. Just enough time to mold these things without having too much waste. And if it's done right, they pop right out. Well, I'll leave that one because it's down the bottom, they haven't hardened up yet. We'll give it a minute or two and uh, clean out the pot while I still can. But that's it. That's how simple it is. It makes it, makes it look pretty easy, doesn't it? So go out and Go out and buy yourself some real expensive maple syrup. Try making some candy at home. You could always put it in uh, ice cube trays, which would be a nice big hunk of sugar for somebody over the holiday season. Look at that. Maple sugar. Yeah. Mm -mm. That's it here from uh, Penny Pack Environmental Center. We're gonna we're gonna shut down because Stephanie and I are gonna see how many of these candies we can eat before lunch. <laughs> All right. Thanks for listening.